Welcome to another one seating plan. This is the another version which already we have published and it is the reviewed version. It is completely automatic. Just enter the date and all the details on the day of before the day of the exam. Just enter the date. All things will be done for you. The seating template, seating plan and the master seating and the question paper count. The previous version which is called SDM, it has also the attendance sheet also. And this is the most advanced version because in this version you can design your own hall. You can uh, change the number of rows on your own. You can change the columns as you wish. I am going to teach you how to work on this template. And at the end I will give the link for downloading the sample copy of this uh, template. You can download it from the description uh, from the link available in the description and you can work on it and if you need it you can immediately contact us through the number mobile number through whatsapp or you can uh, mail me at shinesexcel at gmail.com we are ready to design any template you like and our templates are very cheaper than the softwares which you have to spend more and more on softwares but this te these templates are very cheaper this is the first page home page in this i have the option admin corner print corner so admin corner is the place where all things need all details need to be entered in the admin corner you can just go to the hall details and branches here enter the hall numbers in this sheet it has up to 60 halls enter the number of rows columns and total strength of it sometimes you may skip two students in a hall therefore it is not multiplied you have to enter manually the number of total number of students you have to do it only once and then group on group two this is to specify to tell the students that is group on students how many and group to students how many in hall searches capacity of 70 it is not a matter because it can be divided into it has eight columns but here only five columns so we cannot divide into two therefore there is a change in the number of counts in group one and group two but when it is a even number there is no matter 35 35 it divides equally no problem so this is the details you have to enter and here you are going to enter the number of branches instead of branches we are going to enter it as a short form for civil engineering ce for computer science cs like that also here there is a provision for 13 even you can watch out if you are watching from sc for school exams we have another template called uh, it is available in the website also it is provided in the description there you can enter more than 20 or 30 uh, classes here we also have here it is given 13 it can be increased to 50 or 100 you can we can increase to which extent with very minimum cost after entering all those details i want to design this hall for example h1 i have entered a109 not 9 there must be six rows and five columns i am moving directly from here to hall design so this is the hall designs so all the details which you entered there will be displayed in this place hall number so in place of h1 right you entered a109 row 6 column 5 let's check it six column six rows five columns it's done your work is just where you want to allow the students to sit put s in that place it will turn directly to green it means students are allowed to sit in the place in this template if you don't want the students just delete it and all those things will be shared when we move to the below this hall is also six into five and this hall is nine into eight and the constraint is this hall has two empty spaces in column five and column six at the last row therefore it is left empty so it's total capacity becomes 70 if you want to make the whole row number 9 empty if you do it then you have to change the number of rows to 8 in the hall design page and also its capacity should be changed in the hall design page then only it gets reflected because since we 
uh, fix the hall ca uh, arrangements and the hall capacity design all at one time there is no need of changing it every time only in some occasions it happens therefore it is all the one time work of the admin now after completing all those things and remaining holes are 9 into 8 just I copied and pasted this below so that made my work very easy I'm moving back or I'm moving to the home page I have completed hall design I have completed uh, hall details and hall design now you are going to enter the student's name go to name list entry here is the place where you are going to enter the register number of your students if you want provision for entering the name you can uh, contact us and we will provide uh, we'll make the changes and then you have to enter the branches so all the branches which you have entered in the details page sorry hall design page will appear here and to which semester the student belongs to this recent number to which semester he belongs if you want uh, other options such as subject what subject the student has we have a lot of template on that also you can check all the videos and which video is suiting well to your college or the school you can contact me by keeping the name of that template I want to register here these templates are very cheaper than the software and even people who are spending 10,000 per semester they are only spending 500 per semester for these templates even of lot of capacity halls after entering all this department and their numbers and to which semester they have so here i have entered three one is civil engineering first sem then i have entered computers and cs first sem and then i have entered me mechanical engineering first sem so i have allotted three students i am going to show how i am going to allocate them go to the home page these are things you have to do on the before the day of the exam anyone who as knowledge of uh, uh, just entering the numbers is enough go to theory exam seating it is in the home page yes enter the college details they place what is the exam in semester or it may be the internal exam seating plan for even or same if you want any other details in the page to be displayed we can do that and then enter date that's it now I am going to select the department and semester which have an exam today so department CE semester is one next I have CS first semester next I have ME first semester I have these three department exam then I want to select which the parallel rows in the seating hall first row will be ce second row cs sorry say so first column ce second column cs again ce cs we can do like that so what i'm going to do i am putting all the c students in group one and cs students in group two and group two that means ce will come first and cs will be in the second column after filling all those things then ME appears this can be changed if you want ME and CE you have to put ME first and CE second in group 1 and group 2 we can do anything else next click next yes and here is the thing already have entered yes we can we have the option to select which halls we are going to use today the total strength it is displaying 300 it is displayed here and select more halls it is asking to select more halls total strength is 300 based on that I'm going to select the halls and it is A109 if you want this hall just put S if you don't want just leave it empty I am selecting S yes 60 over 70 130 still I need because it is asking to select more halls yes selected halls are sufficient for 300 candidates I have selected the first six halls 
if you want to select the any other holes from the below anywhere out of 60 you can select any holes it will come it will appear here the selected holes and its capacity now click generate your seating plan is generated yes that's it this is the first hall we gave it has six into five six rows five column one two three four five i am now i'm going to show you if i change this to nine into eight what happens go to home page hall details it is six into five i'm just for your reference changing it to nine to eight nine eight so the capacity becomes 70 no i put it as 72 and here if you if this is not tallied it will show the question mark 72 means it must be 36 36 now the question mark disappears sorry the exclamatory disappears so it is correct now next we want to move to the whole design page the first hall it is 9 into 8 72 that means 9 columns sorry 9 into 8 it is only 8 column and 9 rows done now this should be reflected in the seating page let's go and check seating arrangement yes that's it see the 36 36 now the 6 into 5 chains to 98 all the holes are filled if you want the last uh, if you want somewhere like this one to be empty you have to just go to the whole design place delete it now these things have appeared here it is in the 6 into 5 hall it is 9 into 8 and there is a two spaces empty because that's the design we have made these are things just you can click ctrl p or command p if you are using macbook i'm showing the print preview how beautiful it looks it makes your work easy that's it first hall second hall third four five so since the first hall is more capacity the every all the students are included in the first five halls we have done it and also we have selected the group on C. The group on C is first, C S is second. If I change the group to ME and uh, ME and C S, let's see what happens. Go to home page. ME and C S and let C B at the last. See here, ME comes first and C S second. ME C S. Then it goes like that. ME C S ME C S then ME C E. And there's two more options in the home page, master seating plan. This is the master seating plan. It has semester wise, first semester, second semester. Today we selected exam for only first semester. These are the first semester hall. When you see the uh, print preview, each one is a separate hall. And I want to take away all these blank spaces. I have the filter. I've added the filter. Unchecked blanks. Yes, it has come here. We want to print only the first page. Go to Control P or Command P. Open in preview. I'm going to show that in preview. This is how it looks. If you have more alls, you can. It will be included in this. If you have more branches, it will fill the whole page. Now see the numbers are displayed. Roll number from which to which in which hall. It is very easy to follow. You can make the seating plan within five minutes we have one more option question paper count 
in which hall how many question papers it is displayed here see in a 109 cs first semester 36 36 me and 14 these are the thing based on this you can arrange the question papers and here is the option to select the semester today we have select only for first semester if you have second semester you can select select second up to eight semesters so these are the three best options in this if you want the any other additional features like um, whatever things you need it can be done and the very important thing very special thing is that no vba is used it is full of formulas with the help of formulas we have done it so it is very cheaper more even very very cheaper than the softwares